Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea. My husband and I make videos on this channel called The Hearst Family. Come on over. Come on. I want you to tell me what you think. Ready? Hmm. You good? Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Can you talk? Happy boat launch day. We've got to turn on our celebratory song. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nick. And I'm Chelsea. And, and we are the Hearst family. Yes, we're the Hearst that family. too. But we're also very excited for this particular video because we're uploading it on a Tuesday, but it's also October 8th. Going up on Tuesday. My devotional comes out today. So if you order on Amazon or you go to Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, pretty much any place where books are sold online as well, you'll be able to find a bubble else. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end because we're gonna be doing a giveaway. Today we're talking about... The pros. And the cons of, of marriage. marriage. And I know that we've talked a lot, a lot about marriage lately, but it's something that we've just recently walked into this year and we love it, honestly. We're people who are not gonna tell you don't do it, but there are things that you have to be wary of. Yeah. Let's kick it off with number one. Financial struggles. Yes, that's been our number one specifically that we've been trying to navigate. And it's been something that we've taken on ourselves individually before we got into marriage. It's also been something that's strengthened our marriage through it. Mm -hmm. So at the same time that it's a con, yeah. it's also a pro. Yeah, because we don't have like a strong... I mean, of course you need money. You have to pay your bills, you need to survive, and um, you know, everyone likes nice things. Uh, but we haven't had a over-reliance on money. So I think, you know, eventually when we do have more than we need, I think that it'll really just be gravy and a blessing mm -hmm. um, because we've had little and hopefully one day we'll have much. But it has taught us, I, I'd say, that with the amount of money that we make right now and how we work towards it, we're both with the mindset of, okay, this is both of our responsibilities mm -hmm. and we're both working towards it. I know that some people have the mindset that the husband is supposed to do, you know, most of the income making and that's his responsibility and I do see that play out in a lot of marriages and I think that's just a different mindset for us. We're both super team, team minded. minded. Yeah. You're seeing that if you can get married young, look at your financial status. If you're in thousands and thousands of dollars of debt, think about how much that would impact your spouse and if you guys don't have that team mindset, it can be definitely a negative thing. Yep. What's number two? Number two that we definitely walked through, everyone giving their opinion about our marriage. Oh, yes. Like, you're gonna have some people that say like, no, that's dumb, you need to wait until you're out of college, uh, you need to wait till you have a lot of money, you need to wait till you have a great job, you need to wait until, 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 nah. We didn't think that we needed to do that because we thought that we had this team mindset already before we had walked into marriage. Well, we did. It's not like we thought we did. We yeah. really did. So another thing I think about this is that um, a lot of family and a lot of people and a lot of friends and a lot of so-called friends and a lot of people come out of the woodwork to make sure that they give you their opinion and to make sure that you know that your opinion and what will make you happy is wrong. And they'll be sure to tell you all the reasons why what you think is wrong and why it's stupid. And so we just decided that we're not gonna do that because we don't wanna end up old and bitter. I think a lot of those thoughts come from a place of insecurity and almost wishing that they had done something sooner. So, and we, we got, I wouldn't say we got a lot of that, but we got, we definitely got a fair share of it. Yeah, and I think that the misery loves company comment, I think that can sound a little bit confusing to some of you. So just to clarify, if someone were to come to us and say, no, don't get married early, I wish I would have done, dun, 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 dun. And they apply their situation to our marriage in the way that we're wired, when in reality, there are so many various different types of relationships and people, and to place your relationship on us, it's just harming it. It's not doing mm -hmm. anything, um, but just kind of confusing us and kind of causing insecurity, mm -hmm. but in reality, you gotta take hold of what you're doing with your life and your marriage. That's what I wanted to clarify. Tell them, number three. Number three is not necessarily a con, but it is 
hard, but just because it's hard doesn't mean it's bad. I would actually probably say it's a pro in the long run, but right now it's like really hard to do. It's been a difficulty. Yeah. And that's learning to be selfless. Uh, so learning to put Chelsea's needs before mine and vice versa to her. That one's been difficult because naturally you're not wired to uh, do that. You're not naturally wired to like put someone else before yourself. I think the natural inclination is to make sure that I have what I want, what I need, when I need it, when I want it. Um, yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, I'd agree. I'd say that like learning to be selfless also applies whenever you start adding family members, like kids one day. You can't be selfish mm -hmm. and be a, a great mom or dad. So I would definitely agree with that. Now that we've talked about cons, I think we should move on to the pros. To the pros. But first we're gonna change the battery. This is flashing red. So I was like trying to move forward so that it wouldn't. Alright, so what's pro number Uno. Blast, 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 but blast, bless you. You're not gonna sneeze because I've already blessed you. I didn't it went away. Yeah, because I always sing and then it works. Pro number one is getting to grow together. Mm. Uh, this could have been talked about on the last con. We want to be happy. We want to make sure that we're good, we're okay, we're experiencing joy every single day. And it's great to have happiness and joy, um, but if you're always looking to like suck the life out of your person to like fulfill that with inside of you, that's not a selfless mindset. That's actually a very selfish mindset. And eventually you're going to have problems within that relationship because not everyone is able to keep up with making you happy all the time. Okay, for the next one, uh, I think how marriage matures you is a really, really, really big pro. So before we got married, I um, I wouldn't say I was immature, uh, but I definitely wasn't mature as I am now, just because having the responsibility of living, uh, <laughs> living with another person, taking care of another person, um, like when they're sick or having a bad day, um, and having to be emotionally like available all the time, uh, for a person who lives with you um, is different than someone who you're dating because like you can separate yourself with uh, distance time. when you're dating yeah and time like you can revisit it you know some other time um, but when you're in proximity to someone all the time uh, you can't just like storm out and like get away from it or you, at least you shouldn't I don't think you, you can shouldn't. but that would be very harmful yeah it's not really good advice to step back and say okay I'm really heated right now she's really heated right now we disagreed somewhere and so we need to like sort out you know what the problem is and then approach it you know pragmatically and that's hard to do that takes a lot of maturity for people because everyone wants to just like rage or you know just go off the deep end and just start spewing out things that are just mean and hateful or sometimes it's not always about you know being upset or arguments or being mad sometimes it's just about like hey my friends want me to go out with them I went out with them, you know, a few times last week. Chelsea wants me to be home uh, for a little bit, so I think I'm gonna make the mature decision and stay with her uh, because, you know, she wants to spend time with me. I want to spend time with her, and uh, and that's a mature thing to do in that case. Not saying, not saying that you can't hang out with your friends, or you can't hang out with other people, or you can't go do this and that with your boys or your girls or your some gender in the middle right um you just need to make wise decisions and i think marriage helps mature you to do that but i'm also but i'm also not saying that you're not mature to make those decisions unless you get married lots of rabbit holes i could go down here guys i'm finally back i'm sorry there's literally been hours that have gone by in between this we had to empty sd cards we had to make sure that this camera was not completely dead it's several years old like 10 at least <laughs> So we're gonna like ditzy right now. So the last point in the pros is communication. We've learned so much specifically from just being open with each other and um, just letting each other know when we're frustrated or every single emotion really, we don't like bottle it up. I know that there are certain personalities out there that have a hard time with opening up and it's something that everybody I think is capable of doing. You just have to take the steps to do so to like make sure that you are you feel comfortable doing so. So it takes time, and mm -hmm. oftentimes it takes like a third party, like speaking into your relationship, like seeing it from afar, and saying, hey, why don't you try this method, or why don't you break down this, and 
that's why mm -hmm. we go to counseling and we've done a separate separate video about that and yeah. we love it so always like communicating and communicating well over communicating sometimes making sure that one another knows what um, we need and what we want and what we're expecting I think expectations are huge too um, that's that's huge and it's grown us a lot yes, so, so that's, um, that's a humongous pro of marriage is, is learning how to communicate better exactly so I was about to say that I said that's why we put it on our pro list yeah, but yeah you're ahead of me I know there's a lot of different examples out there people you could subscribe to and watch their videos and their relationships gonna look completely different than ours mm -hmm. I don't think you can really compare couples online because yeah. there's so many different dynamics and different things that we believe so and these aren't the only pros or the only cons exactly. of getting married young these are just ours it's just what we've noticed in our uh, relationship in our marriage but that doesn't mean it, it could be the exact same for you so you really have to weigh it out for yourself and see what it is for you so yeah well, I figured since we've gotten to the end of this video that I'll share what the giveaway entails I've done a giveaway on Instagram and I've also done kind of like a pre-order incentive where people email in their receipts and then we're all gonna hang out on a Google Hangout so I'll give information in the description for that stuff if you're interested but for this specific video since it is launch day of this devotional we are going to be giving away three copies so three individuals will get above all else and it's right here um, 60 devotions for young women for life's ups and downs and I really just hope it encourages you and it always starts off with scripture so you're able to go directly to the scripture read the whole thing if you'd like I highly encourage it I honestly challenge you to do that almost every day so three of you guys who comment down below what you either gained from this video or what you hope to see within the pages of above all else and also last question if you're going to buy the book why or why not I have to go back into YouTube's rules and regulations about giveaways but I'm pretty sure that should be the only uh, qualifier for you to win and then these three people will be randomly selected as always thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video um, leave a comment let us know what you think but until next time what do we always tell them remember the only way that you can change tomorrow is to take a step today. We'll see you in the next video. See you next week. Well, no, see you on Thursday.